in a world searching for gaming knowledge comes the man, the myth, a legend in his own mind, Critical. Welcome back guys and gals, Critical here. Today I'm bringing an episode of Subsistence on my hardcore playthrough. Alright, I was headed back up to Frost Home because I'm going to go ahead and take the uh, fence around the place down and recover those resources, or at least half of them. And I decided I'll go ahead and mess with my hunter base. Take them out, check their uh, inventory, see what they have, if there's anything good. So, can I get... Oh, oh they're aggroed on me. This isn't good. I don't know which way they're going to come. They can come at me from two different directions because of this hill over here. They can they can path up. Here. Oh, I knew one of them would get up here. I was like, where did that shot come from? Duck that shot he was about to take. Oh, dome hit. Dome hit. Chrome dome. Using this little rock as a protection. Like, Damn! Chrome Dome! Alright, I got one more left. Where are you at? <laughs> below me. No! He's over here! Caught me unawares. Doom! Okay, not bad. Not great, but not bad. I'm glad I I'm glad I got to that corner and used that little uh, rock outcrop as some protection. That was smart on my part. About the only smart thing I did there, but it was smart on my part. And while I'm down here, I'm gonna go ahead and dismantle that little building right there, because that's not gonna do us any good anymore. I just left it because it was, you know, it was home base number one. Okay, make sure. All right, I'm gonna break into here, and then I'll bring you guys back in when I'm through the door. See you then. All right, guys, welcome back. We're just about to get the payoff here. Well, what I hope is a good payoff. We shall see. That fire is always burning. Gotta love that. Grab the fat. Ash and fat. Ash. I got a grenade. Nice. And an extra hunter jacket. I think I'm gonna go ahead and tear down the rags. I prefer the cloth right now than that. Oh, nice. Okay. And of course, nothing upstairs. Another reason why I definitely want to reset the hunters is the only hunter base I have is the, uh, the cheap hunter base. It doesn't really give you a lot of good resources. But, oh well. All right, let's go dismantle that, the wall that I have. I, I think the resources I get back from that should help me uh, get closer to being finish with a new house. I also have to new, come up with a name for the new place. Um, Lighthouse Point kind of feels like it's been taken already. Um, hmm. I don't know. I had I, something else hit my head, but it wasn't anything to do with a lighthouse. Lookout Point. I think you could do that. Like I haven't heard that in a hundred, uh, a hundred, uh, horror movies. But yeah, I should get a good bit of nails and several, I should be able to make several more walls for the place that I'm, I'm building now. And I need to check on the, the planter up here. I'm going to keep that stuff up here growing for a while and knowing what I know about how this game's mechanics work. I can, I think I can get rid of the BCU and the solar panel still generate power for, no, no, you still have to have the BCU, but the BCU will become secondary once I put down new primary. And even though it's not generating the power, the solar panels will generate power. Now, the problem with that is the hunters will come and attack it. It'll be a target for the hunters to uh, attack, unfortunately. So I've just got to consider, do I want the hunters attacking someplace else? Uh, I don't know. I mean, it would take some of the pressure off. 
occasionally their attacks would be going against a, a different facility. I'm also curious to see with the uh, with the fence gone, are their hunters going to attack from different sides? Because right now, I don't know if if my fence caused them to only attack from the front, or if the placement of the BCU basically inside that rock little shelter made it so that the only way they can attack even without the fence line was from that front side and if that's the case then you know it's kind of a waste of resource the fence was kind of a cool idea it looked good but if it didn't do me any good then it's just a waste of resources to be honest but we shall see yes we shall see and if I do decide to keep this stuff up here, if I want to keep a couple things powered, what I would do is I'd shrink the house down to just that front little hallway area, that first entrance area, and everything would be crammed into there with just two uh, solar panels on top to provide power. So it would still have this, this entrance. And then I would keep this area. This is where everything would be stacked, and there wouldn't be anything beyond this. So this doorway, and I might leave it just to delete the stairs, because I already have a floor. And I take all of this apart. But for right now, it's going to stay the way it is. Ugh! There's that problem with the doors again. Good. Awesome. Let's go ahead and put these away. I don't need this stuff right now. I will later. But not as of yet. I don't need to uh, do anything with that stuff. Um, I think I'm going to go ahead and start cooking some copper. My iron looks looking pretty good. Actually, what I should be cooking, just so that I have it, and you know, in case Cold Games changes something soon, I want to have this cooked and ready to go. I am going to cook that up for the next uh, few days when I'm down south doing my thing doing my thing, you know, you know. I don't know, I'm in a weird mood. Caution Bowl Robinson. Critical is in a, in a weird mood. Actually, I'll need that. And I'll need a couple things of water. I'm gonna go ahead and take that with me. Um, let's go check on the plants, and then I'll decide what I'm gonna do with the rest of the stuff. Oh, that's right, I never planted anything again, did I? Well, it's no use having this stuff up here if it's not planting. So I guess I need to extract some seeds and put some tomatoes to grow. Oh, that's right, I have stuff in here too. I will... Food I'll take with me. The stuff I can eat. Yeah, stuff I can eat directly. I already have two stacks of ammo, so that'll stay. I'll that down there, but the rest of this can probably stay. This works. Yeah, I feel better about that. Uh, I'll take the water because I can cook it down there and use it. And I'll take the dead chicken with me. I'll leave the padded cloth because I don't need it right now. Take that match with me. I'll take two matches with me down there, so I've got two matches. Uh, in case I need metal to make railings or something, I'll take it with me. Let's get a stack of full stack of arrows again. What's my power looking like? Five hundred. Uh, I think, I think it's been a while, so I'm going to go ahead and make a lockpick real quick. Oh, come on. It's giving me the cookie sound like you're ma I'm making it, but it's the power goes out before I can actually do it. And it make it. There we go. N49 out negative 0.37. So this this way, in case I run into a lock uh, a lock chest, I will have a lock pick on me. It's been a while. It, it kind of needed to happen. 
All right, I think that's good. I want to take some extra canteens with me so that I can keep and store water. Oh, that's right, tomatoes. Leave a chicken. Let's go plant the tomatoes real quick. I want to get down and show you what I've done. I mean, basically, I finished off the uh, most of the upstairs. I'm hoping to get the the second floor ceiling installed today. That would be really nice. All right, so I've got one thing of tomatoes. Maybe do a thing of medical plants. Do I have enough? I do. Okay. So I'll go ahead and cook. Uh, cook. Go ahead and plant those real quick. I'll have to come up here within, well, no more than two days and at least add water, if not ash to it as well. All right, let's go grab that dead chicken. That dead chicken. Chicken, you're coming with me. And take a, well, let's take all the tomatoes. Take all 22 down there. It's good use for it. Split, split. eggs with me and a stack of medical plants and all the oil that I have and I'm just I'm trying to get some stuff down there while keeping enough to do other things up here if I need to if I need to stay the night up here for something all right let's go I don't have to worry about hunters so I can go straight down the middle of the valley this is gonna be nice I don't have to worry because the biggest problem I have right now is I either have to go over that end and see a cougar, possibly, or go this way and see a cougar. Now I can go straight down my valley, which was always my intent, but, you know, the hunters had to be hunters and put their base right there. That's right, I got matches over here, don't I? I should grab those. And... This is how I'm going to enter. I'm going to destroy the door. Then the wall. Might as well take it down. It's not going to do me any good sitting here. Oh, oh. I need to put the chicken away. So I'm not going to have to, I'm not going to be able to take everything with me. Hmm. I guess I can just leave a foundation here and come back for the rest later. That would work. Should be able to take everything from taking these walls down. Oh, no, I can't. Uh, wood, put it away. What, what is this? Planks. Oh, no, I want the planks. See, taking that stuff apart, I got a full stack of planks. That was, that's nice. That's actually perfect. You know, I could leave. I'll leave those. Because having 50 planks, that would really... That was probably where my problem was. Now, I haven't killed the hunt, uh, the rogue hunters recently. Probably why I don't have a lot of planks. But I will be going after them again tomorrow. That's the idea. I think today I want to move some stuff. Do a little building at the new place. Mess with the regular hunters like another time. And then... Then I'll go mess with rogue hunters later. I'm trying to decide when I want to turn the hunters off. Hmm. Not until I'm ready to put a BCU over there. Because I think what I'm going to do, turn the hunters off, come into the game, place the BCU, save the game, exit come back in turning the hunters back on and then save and exit again that way when the hunters start spawning they'll be spawning around my new base area and not uh and not that way because this one base it'll always stay there if i were to put a new bcu down here and made it primary i'd probably get the other two hunters bases to spawn in near my place but it would only be two hunter bases not near me and not three i don't think i can pick this up nope okay and guess what? I will not stop trying to pick stuff up because this is subsistence and that's what you do. 
Anytime you see a plant that you can pick up on the run, you do so. Uh, I'm getting hungry. Eat, eat, eat all, and drink. I've got too much stuff on me to die. I am not taking that chance, so we are going to eat and run, literally. I do like this area that he added on to it is a nice I, I would say peaceful except there's a lot of animals over here a lot of wolves and uh, and bears but it is a nice area it, it's a nice touch to the game I mean if I have to compare this side of the map to the other side of the map the other side of the map is rather boring compared to this side this side is is a master craftsman version of the other side of the map I wonder if the future, if he'll overhaul the map when he goes to expand on the other side, will he... Oh no, I don't know if he'll want to do that because it'll destroy people's bases. So the center can be kind of bland. Not bland, but not as inspired. Maybe I'll put it that way. I expect my nice way to put it. Not as inspired as this side. All right, nails, metal. I want to get my inventory empty first, and then I'll be messing around with all this other stuff. Alright, this is working. I do have some meat to cook. Need to cut that cooking sooner rather than later so it doesn't go bad. Oh, let's see. I brought wood, right? I didn't take that stack of wood. Oh no, I didn't. That's okay. I got a fuel brick. I was going to say better anyways. It's better because it doesn't use wood. It uses fiber. So. Let's go ahead and just drop all these canteens in here. I am definitely going to have to make another box, which is fine. Oh, something I wanted to see. I don't know if you can do it even live, but... Okay. I was wondering if you could just put a, an unclean, you know, an un... Uh, strip chicken in there. And there we go. Oh, I did have one on me. I just didn't see it. Ah, I'm such an idiot. I'm an idiot. Okay. Uh, split. And there we go. Okay. I need definitely a round wall. Or curved wall, I should say. Curved, no window. Let me check my meat. Oh, it spoiled before I could cook. Well, I'm going to let it burn now. Darn it. Waited just a little bit too long. Hmm, okay. Oh, well. That happens sometimes. There we go. So one curve, two, three curve, one, two, three, four, regular. All right. Two, three, four. And I believe five to finish it off correctly. That one. Come on, come on, craft. At least the crafting times in here aren't as bad as in some other games, trust me. Crafting times of assistance are, are very nice. Not gonna name any names, but you know, there are some other games that the crafting time isn't as nice. Oh, when I put the doorway over here, one, I do, I wanted that curve. I wanted that extra curve piece because it makes more sense. But I couldn't get the uh, doorway because the doorway was like against the rock and it got you locked in there. You 
couldn't go through it. But this is what the outside is. I like this. I, I really do. I might... I'm thinking of changing that to a flat piece. But I actually like the curve right there. I think it, it, it continues what you would expect to see. And that's what this... I want this boat... It's like expectations. Yeah, I expect there to be four curves going all the way around. What you're not going to expect is a little jaunt off to the side with a, a reverse curve of that one. And then what I'm going to do on the top. But if I want to get a walkway up there, it, I might have to... From the ins... Oh, that's what I'll do. I just it just thought of me. Okay. It just dawned on me what I'll do. And I can do it right here, I think. I need to make a full wall. Yep. This will fill up the center because I am not going to be able... I don't want to be able to go up from here. This is supposed to be a, uh, a solid uh, roof. The next part's going to be tricky, and it's going to be done with uh, ceiling pieces to make it work. But I think I can put a staircase going up like this if this is a flat wall across here. And it's a little bit of a waste of resources, but I'm going to try to do both walls. Why won't it lock on to the wall because it's walls here okay now it'll lock in there there we go so on the outside it's a flat wall from the inside it's a curved wall and then a staircase and I think a half ceiling will fill that area up nicely So there's that little optical illusion. You got a flat wall here and a nice curved wall here. So this is nice and curved the way that it's meant to be. Oh no, you, uh, I guess I, darn, that's what I wanted to, I guess I can do it this way. Ah, Cold Games, we need a, spire, uh, a curved staircase that allows you to you know, reverse it and set it the other way. Please. Just for those those weird, intricate builds. When you're trying to build something like that, because... Oh, I really wanted this to work. I really don't want this here. And I don't know any other way to do it? Well, there might be. Hold on. Put that back there. I mean, that'll work. I can actually come out here. This is fine. But it kind of takes up some prime real estate. But maybe, just maybe, I can do it like... Do that. That's all the time that I have for today, and it's getting dark and you guys can't say anything. I've been Critical. This has been Subsistence on my softcore playthrough. Hope you guys have enjoyed this content, and I'll see you in the next one. Take it easy. Bye.